Hey guys, look at my bookshelves. So I decided to make another, this is my second attempt at this video by the way. Um, I decided to make another bookshelf tour only because now my bookshelves are really nice looking and they're not all ugly and disorganized and yeah. So here's my updated bookshelf tour that's uh, going to be a pretty bookshelf tour. What happened the first time, why I had to remake this video, is I tried to take out all the books and show you guys the covers, but that didn't work out very well and everything started falling off my bookshelf so I had to reorganize it. So I'm just going to show you the name and the author and yeah, it's going to be a quickie pretty bookshelf tour. Here we go! Okay, so the first book that I have is Arisa and it's like a little graphic novel and that's the author I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that the next book that I have is Parables from Heaven and it's by three different authors it's kind of like a daily devotional type thing Wells, Adams, and Fleshire yeah let's go with that um, the next one that I have is an adult book and it is Predator by Terry Blackstone. I love this book so much. I cannot even explain to you how much I love this book. It's like all my favorite TV shows in a book. It's amazing. The next book that I have is Mast. And it's kind of like a companion novel, I guess, to the Bleach graphic novels. The next little series thing that I have, I have the first six books. I don't know how many books that there are. Um, but, and I don't know, like, what the title of the series is. The Hidden Diary books. Yeah. So that's that. Um, the first one is Cross My Heart. The second one's Make a Wish. Just Between Friends, Take a Bow, Pass It On, and Change of Heart. The next three books that I have are Animals Are Smarter Than Jack. And they're like true little funny animal stories. And I really should read them, but I haven't yet. <laughs> the next book that I have is also, an, I guess, an adult book. And um, that is The Vow. It is based off of a true story. The two people that it's like based off their life, they're the ones that wrote it. Um, and then as you can see, I have my Cassandra Clare. Um, like blah here. So first we have the Mortal Instruments series or what I have of that and my two companion novels. Um, so we have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and then we have Shadowhunters and Downworlders and that's by Cassandra Clare and there's blurbs from a bunch of other different authors in it. And then I also have the Mortal Instruments Companion and that's by a lady who writes a bunch of companion novels for a popular book, she also wrote one for Twilight and for, I believe, the Vampire Academy series, but I'm not sure. The next um, trilogy, also by Cassandra Clare, we have Clockwork Angel. This is the Infernal Devices trilogy, by the way. Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. The next series that I have, I have the first eight books, and this is the Story Girl series. Um, let's see if I can read this. First one is, I'm trying to make it so you can read it too, but my lighting's awful right now, and I'm sorry for that. The first one is The King's Cousin, the second one is Measles, Mischief, Mischief and Mishaps, the third one is su Summer Shenanigans, the fourth one is Dreams, Schemes, and Mysteries, the fifth one is Winter on the Island, the sixth one is Wedding Wishes and Woes. The seventh one is Midnight Madness and Mayhem. And the eighth one is Winds of Change. Um, the next two books that I have right here are the Coca Pepsi books. And those are just things that I got a really, really long time ago. Um, this book is called Dear Lily and it's by Peter Grayson. I got to attend like this um, massive used book sale and they were giving out these books for free. So this guy gave me one and he signed it, I think. It would show you, but I don't want to mess it up. Um, the next book that I have is The Last Juror by John Gr Grisman. I want to read this book, but I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but it's there. The next book that I have is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. 
and I don't know when I'm going to get to this because I tried to pick it up before and I didn't like it that much. I have a really, really hard time getting into classics, and that is a classic, so there's why. Um, Hoot by Hessine, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He, I've heard nothing but good things about his work. I loved, loved, loved the movie, and then I gave it to this guy who had an owl in his tree, and he was thinking about cutting it down, and then it never got returned back to me. So I was really sad when I lost that movie. Um, so the next one, five books, even though I have one through four and then six, um, is the Seekers, um, series. Not sure how many of those are, they're... Not sure how many of those are out right now, but book one is The Quest Begins, book two is Great Bear Lake, book three is Smoke Mountain, book four is The Last Wilderness, and book six, Expir book six is Spirits in the Sky. Um, then I have Torment by Lauren Kate, and that is the third book in the tr series. Yeah, the third book. And I never completed this series. That's all I'm going to say about that. The next book that I have is the old cover of Shadow Me by Tahara Mafi. And I'm actually going to pick up this book next month in September. And I'm really looking forward to it because I'm reading it with another booktuber, Nerdy Book Lover. And I'm so super excited. Um, this book is Forensic Detective by Robert Mann. And he's a PhD. And I got it on my trip to Washington, D.C. And I picked it up because I thought it looked really cool. And I'm excited for it. The next book that I have is More Than a Carpenter by McDowell. And this I got for free somewhere. I don't know. But this book people were giving out. The next thing that I have is my little turtle here. I think I got this from the Keys. Um, and then I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And I got the movie cover copy of that, as you can see, because they have the characters on it. Um, the next little series that I have is the Camp Confidential series. And there's probably more books than these, but I have the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and the sixth one, as you can see. Um, the first one is Natalie's Secret, the second one is Jenna's Dilemma, the third one is Grace's Twist, the fourth one is Alex Alex's Challenge, the fifth one is TTYL, and the last one that I have is RSVP. The next book that I have is The Smile, and I got it at the same one that I got this one, and this was just a used book, but it's actually in like really great con condition. Um, this book I got from a Christian bookstore, and it's Edge of the Apocalypse. It looks really cool, and I picked it up, but I haven't read it yet. Um, this book is Sex, Drugs, and Sea Slime, and it's a marine biology book. I haven't picked it up yet, but I got it from my school, and I will hopefully soon, because now I actually know what some of the terms mean in it, now that I've been a year at my school, which is a specialty for marine biology. Um, the next things that I have is my perfumes. This is something that I got from the dollar store, but that I really so happen to love it. And then the next one is Fresh and Clean by Pink. And I have a big one of those too, but it's not on my bookshelf. It's somewhere else. So on to the next shelf. I have two more graphic novels, and these are 7 and 12. I don't have all of them, but I really like them, even though that they kind of got a little bit weird. Um, the next book that I have is Pretty Little Liars, and my mom's friend gave this to me because she thought that I would like it. Um, this book I got from someplace in Florida, and it's just um, a pioneer story about um, like the slaves in Florida and all that kind of stuff. I don't know why I picked this up because it was probably really expensive and it's a thick book. But um, I thought I would read it and I haven't yet. So there's that one. Then I have the Fallen series. The fifth one I have pre-ordered from Amazon and hopefully I should be getting it soon. But this is the first one. This is the second one, third, and fourth. These don't have different names on them. Just different people. Um, I'm looking forward to reading these. I haven't picked these up yet. Well, I picked the first one up and I read like four pages of it and then I put it back down. 
Uh, then I have my Zeus or mouse. And um, this is like a graphic novel about the World War II and stuff like that. Um, the next three books that I have are from the series that I read a long time ago, The Legend of the Animal he Healer, and I really, really, really enjoyed them. I really, they're like middle grade books, but I read through these so quickly and I love them so much. The first one is The White Giraffe, the second one's The Dolphin Song. And the third one is The Last Leopard, and I think the one after that is has something to do with elephants. Um, the next book that I have on my shelf is, it's, uh, no, that's the last book. Um, it's Pretties by Scott Westerfield, and it's the old covers, but hey, I got it for three bucks at Books Million, so I'll take it. The last one that I have is, it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vinzani, and I know I rave to you guys so much about these books because I absolutely adore them and it was just a really super quick read for me. Then I have some CDs here. I have a Linebacker CD and an Amberlynn CD. There are actually three different CDs in that one. And then a Newsboys CD that has not Newsboys in it. And then a Jeremy Camp. Then I have some tabs for when I read and when I want to mark important stuff. And an extra bookmark and then my two book jars. And then I have my cars that I've been collecting since I was a little kid. And this pretty little tea thing that actually has a candle in it. And I just thought it was pretty and my mom was going to give it away and I decided to keep it. Then I have my um, comic book Bibles here. My Bible from when I was little. And this is my Bible from when I went to a Christian school. And it's like, it has no... Everything written all over it. And then this is just a little small Bible that I have. Um, these are some more of my cars. This is a car that I made with like one of those Lego kits. And then these are 15 like graphic novel, um, Marvel comic things. And I got them for like 60 bucks off of Craigslist. And I haven't read those yet, but I'm looking forward to it. So... That is all that I have for this bookshelf tour. I just wanted to show you how I reorganized my shelves and how good everything came out, and I'm really pleased with it. It also gives me some more room ooh, to um, put new books there when I get new books. So that is all I have for this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye!